Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. This is going to be an interesting conversation about tower moments. And I want to talk about how they manifest and what it means in your life if you have tower moments. And I do believe it has a lot to do with ancestral curses. And what ancestral curses are, basically, it's negative energy generated by, by generations of humans doing bad shit making bad decisions, bad behavior, low vibration, and it's, genera it's general, generationally transferred to the next generation, energetically, okay? Understand this, right? <laughs> you gotta be understanding energy to get what I'm saying here. So when I came around, I'm a super high functioning light working empath and I didn't know it, okay? All I know is I'm born into this, imagine if Hamlet would have lived. But that is the family I was born into. If I was Hamlet, that would be my family. Just absolute fucking chaos. There's no stability. There's no emotional stability. There's no financial stability. And I, and I come from good stock, people that have wealth. But it was just squandered and just, I don't even, I can't begin to understand the behavioral of everybody around me when I was a child. And, it, and, it, and I noticed, here's the fun, interesting thing. I noticed that when I was growing up, Every time I would start to generate something really positive in my life, personally, for me, as a growth, and, and it would empower me, tower moments would happen. Always. I would, and here's the interesting thing. It was other human beings in my life, they would enact the tower moments. They would see this, they would see me shining, and they would enact the tower moment to, to keep that from growing. Oddly enough, one of, the, one of the biggest enactors of my tower moments as a child was my stepmother. And that was huge. Like a great example would be when I used to play soccer. I was, I am a natural and I'm not going to say that to brag, but it's just, I have an ability to look at somebody and really good at what they do and then mimic it to the point where I could literally, you wouldn't know the difference between me and them as far as the physics. And I can, like, I can bend it like Beckham, put it that way. It's really fucking cool. But anyway, so when I was a kid, I was really good. I mean, like really, really good. And at the end of the, at I think at the end of my third season of playing, my coach came to my parents. I mean, my my stepmother, um, this was the end of the season too. This was like, this is the weird part is she would always, I, this is how this woman worked. She would basically, my grades weren't good enough. So she would, she would pull me from the team. But it was always the end of the season when we were on our last game. I'm not even kidding you. The last two seasons in a row she did this. Where I, we're supposed to play the, we were winning, we were winning the, the the whole league, and the last game she would pull me so I wouldn't get to play, and my team would have to play the 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 last game of the season without me, and I was like the team captain, so she would fucking psychologically fuck me like that, and she did that twice, and the second time she pulled me from the team, my coach came to the house, and actually pleaded to my parents to let me play. Because he was like, dude, your son is gifted. He needs to be on this team. It's a traveling team. They go around. They play professionally. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. And my and my step, nope, just squashed any chance I was going to have of that, right? And I just, it just reminded me of all the tower moments in my life. Every time something became, started growing good, whether it was my personal self-destructive behavior or somebody else seeing that in me and whether jealousy or whatever, you know, darkness inside them decided they were going to snuff out that light instead of nurturing and helping it to grow. These are, these, this is the, uh, these are things I'm explaining to you to help you grow because we've all, we've all been through tower moments. Some, and, and being ancestral cursed is a totally interesting thing in itself besides just you generating your own negativity by your bad decisions in life. Because that also happens and I'm responsible for my decisions. I'm not gonna blame some curse entirely on my, but I noticed that, I would notice that every time constantly having tower moments betrayals people betraying me they're supposed to love me and it's like fuck dude why but then it helps you to grow it's like this fucking warrior every battle you go through whether you're like surrounded by men it's like you know thermopolis or whatever you're fucking you know you're at the hot gate and you're fucking surrounded by a million persians and you're getting your asses handed to you you know you become stronger because of it it's like steel you know the heart of the fire the, the heart of the steel right 
Whew. So yeah, yeah. So you go through it. And these tower moments, they've been happening my whole life. And I'm trying to figure out what it, if, if it leads up to this moment where I can tell you that these tower moments are for a reason. It's to help you become stronger. And I know that's so fucking cliche. But until you're going through it, and I'm like, damn, I just noticed there were so many fucking tower moments. Yeah, and it's, it's they call it cliches like the, the you know, the, what do you call it, the rug got pulled out from under you, that kind of shit. You know, you're down in the dumps, or it's just negative, just, yeah, you get juju'd, and it's, sometimes it's you, sometimes it's the, the people around you that are jealous of your, your glow, your light. And like I said, it's it's a power of dark and light. And right now, I'm, technology is working for the dark. I hate to say it. I, it's it's really sad, but I'm going to fight it. You know me. I'm just going to... It's like I use the example when I throw down my videos on YouTube and they're shadow batting me and all that stuff. I throw out the example. And only because I was at Chiriaco Summit and there's a patent museum, okay? So I used the tank analogy when it came to World War II. Germans had superior tanks. They were called panzers, uh, tiger tanks, and they were fucking superior. They were destroying our tanks, going through them like butter, right? But the thing was, is we had the masses. We had, we were able to produce more tanks in a continual, and their factories started getting bombed and stuff like that. But we were able to maintain the, the, <laughs> you so, but we just flooded them. I basically, they just flooded the Germans with tanks to the point where the Germans would be overwhelmed and they'd run out of gas or, or ammo or whatever, right? So it's one of those things. So I'm just doing this YouTube with my videos. I mean, I'm trying to put content in each of them. I don't want to just throw out stuff for, you know, the funniest thing is my Big Mac stack thing is, <laughs> my three stack Big Mac is like getting the most views. So it's like, whatever, right? But I'm just, this is, this is self-love. This is for you to understand your power and understand these power moments happen. And sometimes it's like, let go and let God and just work through it and, and, you know, make your still strong because you are going to need it. It's only going to be more interesting as we go. And like I said, you don't stop until you lay down your grave, right? So you got to keep pump, pumping every day. You keep going. You wake up positive, happy to be alive. And then you go through the day and you do it again. And we're gonna, that's life. We, it's a continual lesson. And you got to love it. I do. And so love yourself. And tower moments will happen. And those are just some of my tower moment stories anyway. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about you. So have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.